Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this particular video is especially dedicated to those students uh, who are not able to qualify CSIR net exam this time and uh, those who have missed this exam by few marks or by any margin, be it your first attempt, be it your second, third, any attempt of the exam and if you have missed this exam by few marks or if you have missed this exam this time in particular, so this video is for you. I would try to share some of the things which if you will try to implement in the upcoming preparation of yours, this might help you in your preparation, right? One thing which I would like to share over here and which I discussed with many students, which I discussed with a lot of people who gave exam and uh, they all told me the similar thing. They all agreed with me in this and I hope and I feel you guys also will agree on the same that this time there was a lot of uh, mismanagement by CSIR. Uh, they just tried to do this exam in hurry it seems uh, so many problems were there at the exam center even the exam centers were not that good or they were not that up to the CSR net standards uh, any institute they have provided as exam center first of all secondly the interface which people or which we saw in the exam that was literally not up to the CSR net level that was something which which we were not expecting actually and the third thing was about the the options which were there on the interface so we were not aware about scientific calculator there are students who didn't even saw the scientific calculator throughout their exam uh, there are students who saw it after half of the time of their exam some of them luckily saw it in starting but still like there was no mention about scientific calculator in their uh, like uh, when the admit card came or when they provided key exam is going to happen there was nothing nothing about the interface anywhere on their website also uh, like if you go to right now to their website then also they will show you the old format or the old interface which used to be there on CSIR. So that is something which is wrong from the CSIR point or CSIR part which I believe has uh, like affected the uh, the performance of students overall like overall performance of the students have been affected because of this. Uh, if this would not have happened. Uh, what I personally believe is the cutoff would have gone two, three marks higher than what has happened right now. So that is something else, but that's just the analysis which I'm doing that if the interface would have not been that bad, if uh, people were aware about that scientific calculator is aware is already there and if they would be aware about all the things before the exam, then uh, their performance might have like in overall all the students I'm telling so in general, the performance would have been increased or if it would have been a little better. Uh, this whole scenario affected people in a different way as well. Uh, some people who get uh, like some students who get panic quickly, they saw the interface, they got panic about it and that has affected their overall performance. Uh, there are students who did not do not get panic that easily. So for them, they got panic, but not uh, they, they just try to like, you know, calm them down and perform uh, decently in the exam. So that has also happened and that has that might have also affected a lot of students. So this is something which I just wanted to include in this video because that's what we all were discussing and I have mailed CSIR regarding the same. I have tweeted about this also uh, to CSIR and we just we can just hope about it that in the next exam they will not repeat the same. Uh, the interface would have been would will be better and they will also provide proper centers for the exam. That is one thing which we I just wanted to include in this video. Now talking about the exam, if you were not able to qualify the exam, what you can do now, okay? So straight away going to pre uh, preparation for the next exam is not the solution. You should not go directly and you should just start preparing or you should just start revising or doing questions. Don't do all those things. First thing which you have to do right now is to analyze your result, analyze your uh, scorecard, analyze your marks which you have got in the CSI net exam right now because this is going to tell you that what you have to exactly do for the next CSI net exam. Okay? Instead of, there are many students who have not qualified the exam and they are reluctant in seeing their scorecard also. They are feeling bad whenever they see their scorecard. This happens, see I can understand this very well and uh, whosoever has given exam, they all can relate to you because when you when your score is not that good it's very difficult to see the scorecard again it gives such so much of pain but believe me this is what you have to do and this this is the best thing which you can do with your preparation your next preparation so first and foremost thing which you have to do is analyze your scorecard now how you are going to analyze your scorecard first of all go for the part c okay look upon the part c 
in part c there can be two scenarios you might have got low marks in part c there can be two scenarios because of that first reason could have been ki you have done less number of questions in part c if you have done less number less questions than 20 or 21 if you have done 20 21 or less than that number of question in part c that clearly means that you did not have studied enough concepts you did not have studied enough topics to uh, you know for the csi net exam and that's why uh, that is one of the reason that could be one of the reason right because I am making this video in general, so it might relate to you at most or it might not. So that's why it's a just a general video. Second thing is, it might happen that you have done 25 questions or 24 questions in the exam, still you got less marks because of negative marking. So in that case, the most important thing which can happen with you over here right now is you have to, you have chosen a wrong answer. So you have chosen those topics in which negative marking are more. And in most of the cases which I have analyzed is those people who focus more on organic chemistry portion, they might have got more negative marking in part C. This is what my personal uh, observation is. If you if your observation also matches with it, it's good. If, if it does not, so we cannot do anything for that. But yeah, it that's what I'm telling that most of the students who get negative marking in part C, that's because they have more, they have done more number of questions in organic chemistry. So what to do ne next okay so once you have analyzed this now you have to act upon it how to act upon it so let's say you are from the first scenario you're fr from the first case that means you have done less number of questions in part c so in that case this thing is straightforward you have to do you have to include more concepts now you have to study more new concepts you have to include more topics in your preparation that is what you can do what about those who have done question 25 question and still got negative marking and still got less number of question now you have to choose that which part of the uh, part of your uh, preparation organic and organic and physical which part gave you more negative marking and now you have to find out some substitute for that okay you have to think that which part or which thing i should uh, like uh, neglect and which part i have to do so that's what you can do or that's how you can act upon it so that uh, thing that substitute you have to choose based upon your marking your uh, score your personal scorecard that how much negative marking got in which section if you are getting negative marking in organic section then this is high time to uh, drop some of the topics on, from organic chemistry and take some of the topics from let's say physical chemistry which you can include because i believe inorganic chemistry is equal for all of them everybody does inorganic chemistry equally the only uh, like uh, problem is with organic or physical so that's what it is so that means you have to take more questions or more topics from physical chemistry included instead of organic chemistry. Talking about part B. Now part B is something where you don't have much choices. Now there can be again two scenarios that you have done less number of questions in part B. Let's say you have done out of 35, you have just done 20 questions out of 35 in part B. In that case, again, the thing comes that you have studied less number of topics and part B questions are more trickier type means they are more of tricky type of questions. Uh, straightforward questions where uh, if you know the answer you know it if you don't know you cannot do anything with that so part b uh, you have to include more topics now so in that case let's say earlier you were just doing physical and inorganic chemistry so now you also have to include some topics from organic chemistry so that you can do them in part b because in part b you cannot leave anything you cannot leave uh, all questions of organic chemistry if you leave all questions of organic chemistry those will be somewhere around 15 questions of organic chemistry and in that way like 13 15 question of organic chemistry so in that way you will just end up getting like uh, around 25 questions to do and that that is not good right so that's what you have to think of first of all second thing is it might happen that uh, you were earlier studying only organic and inorganic chemistry and not physical chemistry now you have to also include some topics of physical chemistry at least some basics of it so that you can do part b and this is how you have to analyze and act upon it and the third most important thing is part a now coming back to part a part a there are two types of students one who might not have done part a because they didn't got time or they were more focused upon chemistry part that's why they were not able to do part a and that's why they got very less number or they, they got very less marks in part a or there could be students who tried to do part a but they were not able to do so if you are from the first part of from, from the first type of students who try like who didn't even give much time to part a i will suggest you to please please reconsider that and please try to do some questions from part a how to study part a is a topic of some other video i'll discuss in that 
but for now i will just give you one tip that at least from the previous years of csi net exam daily practice at least one or two questions from part a that is just going to give you a lot of confidence so that in the upcoming exam you will be able to like you know you will be able to do questions from there and if you are from the second type of students who were able to uh, who were getting time who tried to give time to part a let's say they gave half an hour or 20 minutes to part a still they got a lot of negative marking if you are among them which is very rare because part a questions are not that type of question which you give time and still you don't get the answer because they are quite easy as compared to the uh, chemistry portion and all so if you are among them then in that case you should leave part a okay if you have given enough time to part a, enough time means i'm talking about if you have given 20 or 30 minutes to part a still you got one or two correct answer in part a then that case in that case you should leave doing like you should stop doing part a questions right because that is consuming a lot of time of yours so these are some of my suggestions for students who uh, were not able to qualify and see now you cannot sit and you cannot just think about it that i was not able to qualify what i will do next and uh, wait for someone to motivate you don't do that okay you are your own motivator you have to be your own motivator you have to motivate yourself nobody is going to come and motivate you because nobody knows what personal thing you are going right now what personal scenarios you are into right now what are the conditions in which you are and uh, what are the things which you are going through right now right a uh, certain video might hit you but you should not think of ki somebody will come and will motivate me then i will get motivated that thought should not be there in your mind okay you are uh, like mature enough you have that much of consciousness you can think of so many things of your own and now is the time when you have to motivate yourself make sure that you perform and you give your best you analyze your uh, mistakes whatever mistakes you have done analyze them and act upon them and give your best in the upcoming exam so that should be your motivation that the mistakes which i have done i don't have to repeat them in the next exam and if this time i was not able to qualify by 5 marks 10 marks 20 marks or 0.5 marks also next exam is something which i am going to crack with shining stars i'm going to be in the top 10 so that should be your uh, like thought process and that's how you have to act so first thing is to analyze your mistakes second thing is to act upon it and third thing is to motivate yourself to do that and apart from all these things you have to be consistent in your performance okay it means in your preparation so you have to be consistent in your preparation if you are preparing for the exam please be consistent with it uh, leave all the things for few month aside uh, any function any kind of you know gathering or something uh, don't be anti social totally but yeah try to avoid uh, these things so that it does not distract your preparation whatsoever you are doing just make sure that it does not affect your studies it is not affecting your preparation time that's it that's what you have to do so nf said for this video because i just wanted to make a general video for all of them all of you i earlier i thought to make a motivational video but i am really bad at motivating others and i don't know how to motivate because motivation comes from within okay if, if you are not ready to uh, act upon something nobody can motivate you and if you are ready to act upon something or if you are ready to do something then you don't need any motivation from anyone okay you can do your things of your own so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video i hope the things which i said are uh, relevant to you if you got any relevance from here you can drop that down in the comment section below uh, you can if you related with any of the things which i said you can just share with me in the comment section below that's it from my side for this particular video in the upcoming days i will be making more videos for your preparation of net exam and i'll be bringing more content and more uh, related videos for your preparation to do subscribe this channel as well and uh, that's it from my side thank you so much for watching the video and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi ug cnet category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n_huda
that's it for this thank you so much